So super late start to the day. It's actually noon. Woke up, I think around like 7.30, ate something, and then we didn't really have anything planned again today. So I went back to sleep and then woke up at noon. Felt great actually. I felt like I got a decent night's sleep, but that nap just kind of like propelled it to a great rest. So I guess now we're just going to a sandwich shop. Not sure what it's called, but we'll find out. So lunch was decent. Uh, it was your typical deli sandwiches. I think they're more focused on coffee and ice cream than they are on sandwiches. But if you're in a pinch, uh, it wasn't it wasn't bad. And the average price was with tax about eight dollars. So if you're trying to save money, it's also a good place to go as well. And the people were nice. Ambiance was great. And so with every day that I've been here, I'm headed to get some iced coffee and then possibly go to the beach. Okay, decided to try a different coffee place today. Uh, happened to be right next to the ocean, so figured why not I hadn't tried it yet. And it turned out to be pretty decent. And uh, walking along the road, happened to see this really nice open area where there's these huge waves going. I'd say they're at least like uh, 10 foot waves crashing here along the ocean. This is amazing. It's remarkable what you can find just by walking. And there's only probably about six or seven people out here enjoying the area okay so I don't think uh, those are about 10 foot waves but I could swear that as I was walking over they were crashing at least three times as high as you see in the video which is unfortunate because it's always the situation that you see it and then you try and film it and then it doesn't occur but you'll have to believe me but and then you know waves come in uh, obviously waves <laughs> or channels uh, so you're not always going to get those high waves consistently they come in, you know, in droves or in waves, no pun intended. So I'm just going to go back with the rest of the crew who are waiting for me and possibly the beach.
All right, so we are back at the beach, and if the beach looks familiar, it's because it's the same beach we've been to the past couple of times here. It just seems to be the better location for swimming because there's not really any reef along the beach. It's just all sand, which is really important if you don't want to like scrape up your feet. You don't really want to get those water socks, but today is especially nice because the waves are really high right now. In the past, we came here before noon, and it's like 2.33 o'clock, and it seems like it's just a better show altogether. Much, much more interesting today. It's awesome. It's great. Just got out of the water. The water was amazing today. A lot warmer than it was the last time we were here. And I think it's because the sun's been out for a while, actually all day. And there's a lot of people in the water. I don't know. It's all been uh, pretty much a good day. The last whole day that we're here. And it just seems like uh, the best day to kind of leave Hawaii, I guess. Leave on a good note. We kind of messed up. We were planning to get the sunset today since it was the last day that we're here, but uh, we're all of three minutes too late. By the time we realized that uh, we wanted to go see the sunset, we uh, looked at the time of the sunset at 5.49 and it said the sunset set it at 5.46. So that's unfortunate. However, the view is still breathtaking, I guess. Still uh, very calming and just kind of taking it in because it's the last night here. Very nice sight, for sure. 